Okay, so here's the wing next to the trike. As uh, you can see, this is a really good sized wing. One panel or one side of the wing takes the whole length of the table. And this is a five foot table, so this is a 10 foot wing. There's the trike behind it. And next to that is the sketch that I generated to do this particular wing in the way that you see it. This motor is going to be flown with a brushless motor as well as a gas or nitro engine. The tank will be fitted underneath the seat right behind it and the engine will go in the typical mount that the brushless motor goes in except that it's going to have a uh, an adapter so that we can use uh, the uh, 20cc mounting spacing that those engines uh, require. You know, those are kind of, uh, they sit on, on, on a shelf bracket type uh, mount, but that particular mount that is there can be retrofitted with a mount for the 20cc engine. Very, very easy. I don't show that here because I'm going to be testing this initially with a brushless motor that I I got some samples to uh, from a company that sent me and uh, I want to test those motors. I'm eager to test it with the brushless motors but I know this will definitely fly with the 20cc engine because that's got a lot a lot of power and this model does not really require that much power but it is designed you know for uh, brushless uh, and gas and nitro engines. Uh, you can also put a you know, four-stroke engine here, which is one, one of my customers uh, was just talking to me over the phone and we were talking about the possibility of a four-stroke here and you know what size uh, gas tank and how we're going to do this. It's very, very easy. I mean, the mount is, you just make an adapter for that mount and make sure that it's secure, you know, the way these, these things are secure for the brushless motors. And um, the model can certainly take, uh, you know, that type of engine plus the gas tank, plus accessories. You can mount a camera here if you want. You can go FPV. Uh, I would not recommend doing FPV at, at first uh, try because these models take a little uh, getting used to. The control is not like your typical three-axis uh, airplane, radio control model air airplane. This uh, weight shift requires uh, a little getting used to the, the weight shifting control of the uh, the wing. Uh, you know, the wing is, is very reactive. Uh, depends on how the control system is uh, designed. I have a specific control system that I've been using for all my micro lights so that they fly really well as in all my videos and so I'll be employing the same control mechanisms here on this particular trike. Um, basically in a uh, mixed system I do have pilots that are robotic that can also control directly via their arms and uh, uh, arm uh, wrist uh, muscles they can control the uh, control bar but that's a lot more complex uh, setup uh, I have shown those uh, in some other videos you know just to prove the point that it does work but on this particular one we're just going to be using servos just to keep it really simple the pilot I'm working on the pilot but basically it's going to be the same pilot that I sh I've shown in some other videos in the MIA easy 2.0 trikes and micro lights that I did you know years ago so if you look at those videos you can see the you know the size of the pilot uh, unfortunately the video and the, and the photos that I'm taking do not do any justice to the to the way this looks in, in, in reality in reality it's, it's a real cool looking uh, trike you know I try to keep it very um, very simple but very uh, you know very uh, very appealing and, and so I um, played around with the, the seat uh, design, the, you know, the cushion is brand new, that's um, a new setup here. And it may not be the ultimate one because I'm, I'm always tweaking my models. You know, if one day I wake up and I decide to uh, change something here and there, I will probably do that. Uh, just for aesthetic purposes, as far as the mechanics, like I said, the control system is the same one that I've been employing and, and it's been proven um, time after time in, in the many videos that we've shown with the various size radio control micro lights that uh, we have been designing in the span of more than uh, 17 years uh, since I established MIA Microflight and even way before that back you know to the 80s when we started uh, you know with our first radio control uh, micro lights. 
So the next video will probably be with the wing already finished and mounted on the model. Uh, perhaps the pilot will be done, uh, the engine will be mounted, uh, and we'll have some other some other things. Okay, so this is the trike that's going to go on this wing that is sitting behind it. That wing's about 10 foot span. And this is in the size of the MIA Easy Trikes 2.0. In fact, the pilot that's sitting on it is the original 2.0 pilot that I did many years ago and that I showed in videos uh, flying with the MIA 2.0 wings. Except that those wings were a little shorter in this particular wing and I call those wings the stubby wings for the 2.0 and I did that just for the sake of uh, being able to transport this in a small this car. This particular wing you could also transport the wing in a small car uh, four door hatchback as long as you uh, fold the wings in half. The wing will fold like real wings fold at the um, apex or at the uh, nose connection of the uh, leading rods it'll fold into a five foot length wing that you can insert through the back of your car in between the seats and you can uh, take it to the field that way there's no need to disassemble the complete wing with the battens this wing already has the battens in place uh, the rods um, are actually sitting underneath it you, that's why you don't see them but it's almost uh, near completion I need to finish the uh, nose section of this wing and I need to finish uh, putting the uh, batten retainers and tensioners on the wing and that wing will be completed. This strike is complete and all it needs is the bracing to the wing. In other words, the struts, they go from the control rod to the wing. So that has yet to be uh, installed on, on, on the strike. I have to manufacture the root tube and and the uh, root tube bearing section that goes on the universal joint right there is, that's just to make it pivot uh, nice and easy but I just wanted to capture this on video as an update to what I've been doing as far as this strike is concerned I've been working on and off on this project as time permits because uh, I also have other uh, duties and commitments that I have to uh, attend to on a regular basis and so this is how far I've gotten so far. So stay tuned. This is Mario with MIA Microflight once again. Thanks for watching.